<laughs> okay, where we're at now is we have removed the EGR valve, and the EGR valve is back here by the back three plugs. There we go. I was able to get the back one with the socket, and then the one that was closest to me I was able to get with a wrench. So what we're doing now is we're cleaning that EGR valve. And once you're back here, you got to make sure that your plug wires, after you replace the plugs, you have to make sure that the plug wires are not leaning against anything that's going to get hot, such as the uh, exhaust manifold and the heat shield and all that. Make sure those plug wires are away from that stuff, just to make sure they don't get burnt and then cause a misfire. So uh, we got that out of the way. So that's where we're working on now. We got the EGR valve out. Um, we broke a little plastic elbow that goes from the EGR valve to the vacuum hose, but that's no problem. We'll get that fixed in no time. And then we still have to do the front three plugs. See them right there? One, two, three. We're going to get those next, but uh, right now we got the EGR valve. I'll show you what the EGR valve looks like. This is the EGR valve. It's really crusty in there. Really nasty. So we got to scrape all that out, clean it all up, make sure that this actuator in the middle is moving like it's supposed to. It's uh, The diaphragm is not easy to grab onto right here as they are in other vehicles, but uh, we'll make this go up and down and uh, clean out these ports and make it move like it's supposed to, free of any thing that's restricting it. And what would be restricting it would be the carbon that is built up on the rectangle port as well as the round port. So we're going to work on that here in a few.
Jiggle up and down. And when it gets all the way out, just go slowly so you don't drop it. You're almost, it's still in there, keep going. Dang. <laughs> good That's a long-winded rascal. <laughs> What's your name? My name is Destiny. Yeah. And what are you doing right now? Stick taking out the spark plugs on a 1986 Cadillac Cimarron. Okay, my turn. I want to work on it for a little bit. Or unless you want to keep going. Oh, you're almost there. Keep going. Keep going for a couple, a little bit longer. <laughs> okay, we are now on the distributor cap. And what we're going to do now is we're going to go ahead and um, remove the ignition module make sure that it's in good condition because there's a new one that came with this car as in somebody purchased one and had it in the trunk and if this one looks original then we're going to replace it with the new one just to make sure that this thing starts every time this lady needs it to start so we got the cap off right now there's two screws holding that down this is it right here and now we're going for the module. Okay, that black thing right there with those two plugs plugged into it, that's the ignition module. We're going to go ahead and lift that up right now and um, make sure that it's in good condition. So we're going to go ahead and do that now. Okay, we know somebody's replaced this already once because there's white lithium grease all over it. So we're going to clean this off and put dielectric grease on it instead of this lithium. Dielectric grease. Squeeze about that much on, then smooth it out with your finger.
on the rotor, just go ahead and take a little scotch bright to the edge. Just like brand new. Now we're going to lube up the pulleys. How we do that? Penetrating lubricant. A hose that has a little straw on the end of it. Long needle nose pliers. Look at this. Jeez.
baking soda and water. We'll just take a wire brush to this. Battery corrosion preventive spray.
Okay, we have a respectable idle now. That was after putting all the flood wires back in the correct position first, then pulling the distributor out and setting it in the correct position. That's what that's for right there. It's pointing at the number one plug right here. So we got it sounding like it wants to run pretty well now, so all we have to do now is set the timing. We do have a respectable idle. Coolant looks like it's at the operating temperature. You can tell we need some exhaust work on this thing. All right, the coolant fan came on. Good deal. That's what I was waiting for. Now we're going to set the timing. Now I can finally bring my car back in. This one's running pretty good. Runs better than it looks, pretty much guarantee you that. Um, does need some exhaust work, but I'm gonna ask the customer and see if it's something she wants me to do while I have it in my possession, or if she just wants the car back and she'll do it whenever she has time to. But um, it sounds like it's purring like a kitty right now. It's running really nice. And this is a 1986 Cadillac Cimarron.